Hey guys, Final Fame 32 here. How are you guys doing tonight? I uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful night so far. Uh, just chilling myself tonight. Uh, figured right before I head to bed, why not go ahead and do this video with uh, my... I just bought some Pokemon cards today. Y'all know how the craze is going on with everything with... You know, we literally got stores that are refusing to sell them anymore because people are being fucking crazy with this shit and everything. So, I went ahead before they fucking came and attacked me. Uh, went ahead and picked up some packs um, from the uh, from my store today, and I just want to go ahead, like we did in all the videos past, with comic books and the you know the Pokemon cards themselves do a little video so uh, maybe we get something good today fingers crossed if not like I said guys I, I fucking enjoy this shit um, I love to teach you know people to play the game uh, like I did back in the day uh, I have a couple people I, I who have asked me to play with them so you know to me this is all about just collecting and 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 playing the game uh, at one point you know I understand how the world goes and everyone's just trying to find that quick buck with everything. That That's cool. It's entirely on you. Uh, but me, I've enjoyed this from day one since Pokemon first came out. So, you know, that's not going to change for me just because. I mean, I still have cards from when I was a kid. I, I still have them. So, you know, uh, to each their own for y'all chasing the quick buck. But, you know, for those of us who this is a passion and we enjoy doing it, it's kind of frustrating to deal with on a regular basis of y'all just trying to face that quick buck. Like I said, everything I do, I'm not going to stop doing because everybody just wants to chase a quick buck. So, you know, what you see here, whether I got nothing but commons or I got 20 of the same damn card, it's still going to mean a lot to me doing it for what it reminds me of. So, uh, without any further ado... I want to go ahead and get into this. Unfortunately, um, you know, I haven't been able to find any of the packs like the Evolution Breaks and all that, like the ones that have kind of the older cards in there. Um, but for what I do have, um, I am going to share with y'all. I Some of them are Sword and Shield, and some are... I actually have one pack here that's the... Uh, like one of those tins that you buy as well that comes with a card and then a bunch of booster packs. So... Um, without any further ado, yeah, forgive me there, let's open this first one up here that we got, booyah, let's see what we got. We have Rhyhorn, Sobble, whoops shit, <laughs> uh, Grookey, I said a lot of newer cards, but you know, uh, Wooloo, Wooloo. That just sounds crazy. Uh, Sizzlepede. Uh oh, we got a holographic dub trio. There we go. Can't argue with that. Stone Journal. Never heard of him. I don't know how new he is because, you know, I'm a little out when it comes to that stuff. Energy, Pokemon Center Lady. Another dub trio. And a Salazzo? Sal Salazzle? I have no idea what that is. So, a bunch of cards I've never heard of before, short of the trio. So, okay, can't argue with that. Like I said, I need to watch the newer seasons and kind of read about it some more because I couldn't tell you anything about the new Pokemon that are out. So, um, but it's, like I said, it's still something I enjoy doing. So, let's see. Don't even waste no time. Go right forward with the fucking teeth. Yeah. So then next, we have Blitbug. We have a Pinchurchin. Pinchurchin. Or Pincurchin. I have no idea. Another Sobel. Wooloo. Klebopups. Again, weird. A Holographic Energy Retrieval. Okay. A Clay Doll. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Clay Doll. Uh, Steel Energy, a uh, Bi Sharp or Bis Sharp depends on where you're from. I guess how you say it. Slazzle, and then a Evolution Incense. Boom. Okay, not bad. Like I said, as far as 
my my next decks coming up i'm definitely going to have some options that's what i'll say i'll definitely have some options with the next decks i start doing so this next one is a booster pack that came with the one holographic card already attached to it on the front you know how they do and then they do like the game the collectible plastic coin um so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out both booster packs and then show you all the card that came with it for um the inside of it so first off we have the coin that comes with it is i don't know this pokemon at all like i said this is a newer deck so or a newer booster pack so if y'all know what it is feel free to share but that is the one that i have right there and then we have a rare holographic dragonite really cool his top attack is giant tail it costs five colorless energies but if you flip a coin and it's tails it does nothing but if it if it's heads it's 200 damage that's fucking crazy so dude amazing that that you know in the right deck if you're willing to take the chance that could be a real asset right there 200 freaking damage dude so next up we have sun and moon lost thunder booster pack these ones only have three in them because they're like the smaller booster packs, but let's see what we got. We have Cub Chew. Okay. We have a rare regular Umbreon. Heck yeah. Nice attack. Dark Cutter. That's a really good attack. And then a Shinotic, which evolves from Moral. At this point, you've lost me. But still not bad not bad a common an uncommon and a rare can't argue with that so then this is another sun and moon lost thunder okay let's see what we got booyah first off we have spinnerack booyah old school classic ninkata not bad can't argue with that and a pupitar three colorless for the one attack hammer and damn oh no that might be a little too steep for me and then last but not least i don't care judge me if you want to best way to open it when you got fucking teeth like this you gonna sit there and open shit all the damn time like that so shit uh next up uh, before i open it all we have a blissey um the pokemon deck box uh it comes with the one rare card which is blissey and we have blissey holographic with the attack happiness supplement and then powerful slap flip a coin for each energy attached to this pokemon this attack does 80 damage for each heads holy crap so you have the potential in reality if you because blissey has such a high hit point um in theory you could add like six energies to them especially double colorless add six energies and literally have the potential to do 480 damage and it's a shame those that damage does not go um to the bench pokemon because obviously what's your strongest pokemon in the pokemon card game is like 200 250 480 is gonna knock everybody out like come on but on to the next one like i said this one comes with the rare card plus the boosters so we want to go ahead and uh open these up and see what the hell we got inside so all right guys yeah all right next up let's see which cards we got we got sun and moon sword and shield sword and shield Sword and Shield, Cosmic Eclipse, Cosmic Eclipse, and Cosmic Eclipse. Okay. So a little bit of variety in this one, but let's see where it leads us. Uh uh. This one says, I don't want to open up. There it goes. All right. First up, we have Drowsy. We have Cloister, a rare Cloister. Can't argue with that. And a grass energy. Not bad. 
I will say this, in, in, with my original decks of what I have, I don't have a lot of grass Pokemon. So, or at least the ones I do, I don't have a lot of energies with it. So that's actually a plus for me. So, next, we have Kufant. We have Drapion, which is a rare one. Very cool looking. And then Crushing Hammer. Flip a coin of his discarded energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Booyah. Okay. Got a lot of uh, supporter cards on this one. So I can't even argue. So then, next up we have Yamper, Gookie, and a Lightning Energy. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Like I said, every one of these cards could go to be making a, a great deck. So I won't ever complain about the cards I do get. Never. I would suck to have the one pack that has nothing but energies, but, you know, besides that. Uh, we have Silicobra. We have a holographic Pincurchin, which is holographic but common. So, you know, it's a holographic background. And then a Mantine. So, okay. Next up, we have Sword and Shield again. Okay. First off, let's open it up. We have Score Bunny. We have a holographic background Krabby. <laughs> and then a Lucky Egg. Okay. Like I said, depending on the right deck and what you build, and I have been playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Duel Masters. I think it's called Duel Masters. Um, for a couple of days now, I'm really liking the online game. Free to play, by the way. Um... Yeah, there are some stuff you can pay for if you want better decks and stuff, but for building for the first time, very cool game. If you like Yu-Gi-Oh, download it up from the store on your PC or, hell, even on your phone, but I have it for my PC, and it's a fun-as-fuck game. So, uh, we have Ponyta, we have Cotton Knee, and then we have a Rare Candy, which changed the color from, uh, from back in the day. Back in the day, y'all remember they were pink. Pink, red, you know, depending on the game. So, next up we have Sword and Shield again. Let's see if it's anything good. We have Krabby, Mencino, and a Fighting Energy. Okay, like I said, great, great. Hey, I'm I'm building it as I go. Even if I had nothing rare, I promise you I could build a formidable, formidable deck and take any of you on. So, next up, we have Dupiter, okay, a Sol Solgaleo, oh my god, this shit is fucking awesome, dude, I don't know if it's ever worth anything, but like, Solgaleo, it is, a, it is a rare holographic, shit, dude, for those of you so you can see a better picture, holy crap, I like that one, and then Beastite, whatever that is. So, dude, that one card there was worth it to me. I like that. Now we're down to the final two. Like I said, hopefully. Overall, I've been happy so far, though. I can't even complain. Uh, we have Golette. Okay, Golette. I remember catching him in one of the other Pokemon games that I have. Uh, Beware. Who is this the one that says it? It waves his hands while in imitation warning life is over for anyone who doesn't run away as fast as possible. From what I heard, this is the Pokemon that if you catch if he catches you in his hug, he literally will squeeze the life out of you and break your spine. So that's pretty fucked up. But Pinluck is the last one. And then, all in all, here's here's the coup de gras, the piece de resistance. And by the way, this deck is Sun and Moon Cosmic Empire. So let's see what the fuck we got in here. Boom. We have Jang Mu. I ain't never heard of that before. Jang Mu. Mm. Then we have a Deerling. You got me lost again, guys. And then a Fighting Energy. So again, overall... Not a bad go. Uh, I really did like this Sal Salad Lego or whatever he was called. Um, still a little, you know, iffy on all the words and t or the names of the new Pokemon and stuff. But um, for what it was, 
not a bad haul. Uh, like I said, I think I could build a very formidable deck with what I got and the cards I do have already. So, by all means, y'all bring it on. Uh, but for right now, this is Final Fiend 32 signing off. Love you guys. As always, people ask me about my symbol. It ain't nothing important. It's just I feel like this is all of us are fucking awesome, rocking the world. Just bring it together. That's it. Um, other than that, this is Final Fiend 32 signing off. Uh, I hope you guys have a great night and catch me up on Twitch. Final Fiend 32, load me up, add me, and let's fucking rock the world together, Final Nation. Love you guys.